A senior ANC figure has become a person of interest in the assassination of Kauteng Department of Health whistleblower Babita Diokaran. As a crack team of Hawks investigators circle the governing party in search of the paymaster behind the slaying. According to information shared with News24 by sources, who have first-hand knowledge of the unfolding investigation, the ANC figure had occupied prominent positions in government and remained influential in the party. Sources in the law enforcement community said Diokran was not only a vital witness, but was the link in the Special Investigating Units SIU, probe into corruption at the Kauteng government. News24 can reveal the questioning of seven men arrested in connection with her killing two weeks ago steered detectives to the upper echelons of the ANC. Two sources closed the investigation, one within the police and the other in the Hawks, said the alleged hitmen had identified the ANC figure who allegedly ordered the murder. One police source said, the suspects had been to see a traditional healer in KwaZulu-Natal before they came to Johannesburg for the hit, so they could be protected from harm. They were supposed to leave on the same day, but they stuck around and were arrested. We think they had not been paid their fee yet. On Thursday, while addressing the media in Phoenix, Police Minister Becky Cayley revealed two others have since been arrested. But interestingly, it looks like they have been arrested with a lot of cash in their cars. The story was that it was an expensive exercise, where people were getting a lot of money each to pull the mission of killing Babita, he said. The 53-year-old civil servant was shot and wounded outside her home in Modio, Johannesburg, moments after dropping her child at school. Her car was peppered with gunfire as she nosed it towards her driveway. She died later in hospital. Diokaran had been a key witness for the graft-busting SIU as it delved into rampant corruption in the Kauteng Health Department and its splurge on personal protective equipment PPE, which soared into the hundreds of millions after the COVID-19 pandemic struck Dodd in her role as Chief Director. Financial Accounting Diokaran had been a bulwark against irregular and dubious payments. Beyond this and owing to her position, she was also in control of the evidentiary paper trail left by those who preyed on public funds, as she controlled the balance sheets, making her an invaluable asset to the SI.